A very important part of lockdown is choosing the frame that you want to paint on. So for example, you can scrub through and find an area where your mesh looks good. It looks like the first frame is the closest. This is probably where I would want to paint or add graphics. In previous versions of lockdown, pressing lockdown would choose this frame. And to some extent, it does that now too. I'll press lockdown. And if we move into the stabilized composition, I'll remove the checkerboard. You can see that this mesh is in the same position it was on at frame zero and it remains here, and this is where you would add your graphics. So for example, I'm just placing a double zero in here to indicate that I'm on frame zero, and as we play along, that stays on the 12 because it's stabilized. Moving back into this composition, it tracks like it's supposed to. The big change in Lockdown 2.5, and I really think that this is for the better, is that I can press on Lockdown and go to a different frame, and when I press lockdown again, it still remembers which frame I chose on. It doesn't choose a new frame. And if I go back into my stabilized composition, nothing else here has changed either. If you're new to lockdown, then hopefully this won't confuse you and that's even better. But what if I decide I wanted to paint on a different frame? So for example, if I didn't want to paint on the first frame, I actually wanted to paint on the last frame. Now that happens in the pop-out. Inside the pop-out, you'll see this green bar. This green bar indicates the frame in which you're painting on. When you press lockdown, it chooses that frame for you. However, now you manually set it by pressing set lockdown mesh frame. So if I wanted to paint on this first frame, I would click it on this frame here, and I'll go into the stabilize UV layout tab, and you can see there's my mesh on that frame. If I decided that I wanted to paint on the last frame, I would go to the last frame, press set lockdown mesh UV frame, and in the Stabilize Layout tab, now you notice that this is over here. In the position the mesh was on, on the last frame. So of course if I close my projects, now my type isn't going to be aligned. Moving into my Stabilize Comp, the mesh is still in the old position. That's because this is an old instance of Lockdown. This doesn't automatically get updated when you make changes to the initial instance of Lockdown. In order to force it to update, you have to press Lockdown again here. Now when I move into my stabilized comp, you'll see that change has been reflected and the mesh is in the position it was on on that last frame. So of course my type is no longer valid here. And I can move it into this new position and say, okay, this is frame 98. And now this is currently aligned and staying on top of the type and I'll move back to the original comp, and now you'll see that 98 is stuck. So let's move back into the pop-out and talk about some of the finer points. The first thing to remember is that anytime you create new points that are outside of the mesh, you need to reset your lockdown mesh frame. So for example, if I go to this frame and I create another point on the back of his neck here, this point is somewhere in the middle of the frame. If I go into the Stabilize UV layout, however, you'll notice that the UVs are all the way over here, and this point is exactly where I created it. So if I was to integrate this into the mesh, and then take a look at how it looks in the Stabilize UV layout, it's totally crazy. To fix this, we can just go to that last frame, as indicated by these green bars where we pressed our set lockdown mesh frame. And then when we press this button again, it just updates the mesh to all of these positions here. And now you'll see that's in the correct spot. This UV layout tab lets you do some pretty crazy things which I'm not going to get into in this tutorial. I would highly recommend not touching it until you've spent a few weeks using lockdown and are really comfortable with it. In short though, it's just a tool to expand these areas and make them easier to paint. You can find out more about it in another tutorial.